welcome back um, today we'll see how to redirect or send the app to an external website or to any other URL from your power app it could be a website it could be an intranet in your company or any other URL whether it can be a website or anything uh, how to redirect to that URL from your power app so let's go to that so here's my app I'm going to quickly add a button let's call it go to yeah then I am going to add uh, a text input just place it over here so the idea is to whatever I type in in this text box my app should be uh, taking me there um, so I'm gonna put it to blank okay so the function is on click of this button go to the actions on select the function is launch and the address of the uh, uh, the URL where you want to go so it has to go to whatever I type in the text box one yeah so it's text box input one dot text yeah so that's the code so it's that simple so let's click go and save the app save it to my app this is app demo one and save it okay it's saved let's go back to the power apps home page so this is the app that we just saved so click on it to launch the app okay this is my app so let's go to wbc.co.uk click go okay it's opening perfectly okay let's go back try um, so let's do www.cow.uk click go to and it's launching so this is how you launch uh, another external website from your power app so what if I want to launch um, or redirect my power app to another power app that I developed so let's do that uh, let's create another app let's close this down let's close this down as well go back here create a new app canvas app I'm gonna pick tablet layer okay I'm gonna quickly add a label just to show this is uh, this is app demo number two oops okay let's save it to save first let's call it app demo number two and save it okay so this is my second app I want to come from app uh, one to the app two yeah uh, to do that I will need to find the URL of the uh, second so in my from my uh, uh, power ups home page I'm launching the second app demo number two we we'll just copy this URL yeah go to the first app and let's put another button over here and let's call it go to second app and go to this buttons action on select property and the code is again launch now in this address you put the one which you copied from the address bar of the second app so this is just copying the URL of the second app and pasting it here and finish close the app. okay so now uh, let's go and save the first app and publish it okay it's all published I'm gonna to go to the power of home page and click on the first app now okay the second app has been loaded you can see the new button that we added to go to the second app so click on it and it will take you to the second app so that's simple as well good 
Next, uh, we will see a scenario how you can send a parameter to the second app when you're navigating from the first app. So basically you want to send a parameter from the first app to the second app and the second app receives the parameter that you're sending it and process it for further use. So whatever your business scenario could be, all you're doing is sending a piece of information, passing a piece of information from app one to app two. So let's do that. So let's go to the app one first, click on this one, the button where we are navigating. So here we are just simply navigating to uh, app uh, app two. Okay, so here there is a, another parameter in the function called parameters. Yeah, so we put an array and we call it um, a, a variable key. So we are sending uh, an information a piece of information through this okay um, so let's call navigate it from and the value would be let's say send from app one okay uh, oops I didn't like it I need to remove this okay so the next parameter is uh, we can either uh, let the open the window in the same window or you can open it in a, a new window. So to do that, I'm going to open it this time in the same window, which is you need to use for the replace. Okay. Okay. So uh, one more time, you're putting the launch function, putting the URL of the second app and you're adding a parameter. It says, uh, the value of that is uh, what is being passed to the next app. So in this case, uh, navigated from is a variable and the value is sent from app one. You can put this anything you want. You can put a, a dynamic value is up to you just for demo purpose. I'm hard coding it. And this one will make sure the, the app two is open in the same window. Okay, let's go ahead and save and publish this. Save and publish this okay now in the app 2 we will make sure we receive that information what is whatever is being sent from the app 1 okay so let's add another label bring it over here and the function is parameter 1 ram and you need to enter the same value what it's been sent from the variable name which is being sent from the app 1 which is in this case navigated from so you just copy this over here and paste it so you put the variable which variable name you're passing it from the app one so whatever i'm sending from app one using a parameter will display in this label okay right okay let's save and publish the second app as well publish okay all done i'm going to close the the windows okay i'm gonna refresh make sure all the cache is gone okay let's launch the app one so the app is launched so we'll click on the button to go to the next app so it as you can see it's opening in the same uh, window and you can see the variable which we pass through the uh, parameters so yeah, that's it uh, for today's video. Today we'll see how you can uh, launch a website or redirect the app to another external website or within your local internet, or you can redirect to another power app within your uh, tenant, or you can also uh, send a variable uh, as a parameter when you're redirecting to another app and you can use the parameter in the second app for further manipulation. So if you like this video, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. Um, so thanks for watching. Bye.